And Reed Grevin, so what's the cheapest and easiest way to apply a little bit of K for a home lawn? And do I need to even care if I have 140 pounds of K per acre on Malik 1? They suggest two pounds a year. That's a good question, Reed. I'll say the same. I was on, the, I was on, I was on um, Calendly today, or was it Calendly yesterday? What's today, Thursday? So it was Calendly this morning with uh, someone, and I told her, it's like we're going through soil tests and stuff. And I said, well, what does your turf look like? And she goes, well, 95% of my turf looks fine. It's all good. I mean, it's, you know, it looks good. 90%, 95% looks fine. And so I told her, if your turf looks fine, I don't, you know, the, the, the potassium in your soil test and phosphorus in your soil test is irrelevant to me to some degree. I mean, it, if, if your turf looks fine, then, then whatever's in the soil is sufficient. Um, but she has 5 or 10% of her lawns don't look fine. And in those cases, she had a soil test and she had, um, she, in her case, she was in a different, she was in a unique situation in, in a different state that uses a different extractant. And in her case, they, they inter interpreted the value to be low in phosphorus and potassium. And so in that case, her turf looked poor and she had a soil test to confirm that indeed her phosphorus and potassium might be low. So in that case, I said, you might want to include those applications on those lawns. And so to answer your question is, answer your question, Reed, I'm not worried about 140 pounds per acre made like one. That would be around, um, around 140 or 50 pounds per uh, acre of made like three, around 70 to 80 parts per million made like three, something like that. I'm not worried about that number, nor am I worried about any other number that you can give me on potassium on any soil test, unless you tell me your turf grass is not acceptable or has historically not been acceptable as a result of low potassium. In those cases where your turf grass is not acceptable, or let's say, let's say it is acceptable now, but last year it wasn't, and it wasn't because it was low K, now, it's okay, now it looks good, and you're keeping track of the potassium because you, want, you don't want to fall off that cliff again. You don't want the potassium to go down and the turf grass quality to go down again. In those cases, I am interested in the soil test value. Okay, so you know it, uh, the, the answer to this question, Reed, is what does your turf grass look like? Okay, so if your turf grass looks fine, uh, you know, and the soil test says apply potassium, the soil test is wrong. Basically, that's what it comes down to. Now, if you say, "Hey, the soil, the turf grass has been iffy. It's been spotty over the last couple of years. It doesn't look that great." And you know, you, you, and we can go. I'm going to show some. Um, I'm going to describe some potassium deficiencies here shortly, and that might help you identify the potassium as being deficient. Then we can talk about the least expensive ways to apply potassium. And the least expensive way to apply a little bit of potassium is almost always like a. Well, it depends on what you mean by a little bit. If you're going to put down a half a pound of K or one pound of K, then you can do that with just KCL or SOP, whatever. But what I recommend to everybody, and that pretty much goes across the board for warm season or for cool season, pretty much across the board, is what I've mentioned before on the channel, is that if you want to apply just a little bit of K, if you think that that's the problem, just take your normal nitrogen application that you're putting out Let's say it's a whatever, 2400 or something or whatever, whatever you're doing. And you're putting out a pound of, let's say you're putting out a pound of in. Just have your fertilizer blender or find a bag that includes half that amount of, with potassium. So 24012 or 20010 or 30015 or whatever the case is. And that's what I mean by just a little bit. So what I mean by just a little bit is about half amount, half the nitrogen you're putting out annually let's say you're putting out three pounds in annually just put out about a pound pound and a half a k annually and just do that with your normal nitrogen application just add it in as a granular that'd be a that's a long-winded way of saying just cut just put a little bit of potassium in with your nitrogen application and move on we'll go worry about something else go you know deal with your customers uh you know some issue with them or your employees or something because whatever benefit you're going to get is from the potassium is going to most likely come in a uh, application of nitrogen that you also include about half of that with potassium.